the things that makes Pittsburgh Botanic Garden special is that we are building this garden with an ecological and eco-region focus. So we are looking at things like native plants, biodiversity, and ecosystem services in addition to beauty. A core component of managing for biodiversity is controlling invasive plants. My name is Sue Myers and I'm the Director of Horticulture and Conservation at Pittsburgh Botanic Garden. For several years, the garden has been tracking the spread of a particularly pernicious invasive, Lespedeza cuneata. The horticulture and conservation team first found the Lespedeza in the garden in 2023, doing routine garden work. Lespedeza cuneata is a plant in the legume family that produces thousands of seeds and is allelopathic, meaning that it inhibits the growth of other plants. And when we found it on the site here at the Botanic Garden, we knew we had to immediately take measures to begin to control it. You know, we used mowing, and then we used horticultural vinegar, so that's a chemical, but it's safe to wildlife and aquatic systems. We actually collected plants after we sprayed it and we saw the plant die back to test those seeds for viability. The hope was that the vinegar would stop the plants from setting viable seed, and, and unfortunately, our, our experiment showed us that it did not. We were able to secure funding to hire a contractor to help us with this prescribed fire, which is not something that you can undertake independently. You have to have special permitting and special licenses, and you have to have someone on the team that's a burn boss. And we were fortunate to partner with an outfit out of West Virginia called NatureWorks. Uh, they came in and they did a site assessment, mapped the areas where the Lespedeza was, and talked with us about options for control, including, for example, the vinegar, which we were already doing, some chemical herbicides, and then an event, the eventual fire. My name is James Ramuzzi. I'm with NatureWorks. We are a natural resource management company based out of Shepherdstown, West Virginia, and offices in Morgantown. We just got done with the inaugural prescribed fire here at the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden. There had never been a prescribed fire implemented in Allegheny County here. Once we got it permitted, then we were uh, forecasting a suitable window that worked within the parameters of the garden. Obviously, this is a public space. Lespedes is interesting because you can control it with fire and, it, and fire also can stimulate its growth depending on the season that you burn. And so we use the fall window to try to target the impacts of the Lespedeza and also to potentially flush and or kill the seed that we know is in the seed bank in the soil. All windows are just harder to forecast. You've got higher humidities, you've got um, varying weather. Uh, sometimes it's really, really warm. Sometimes it's really, really cold. You've got passing fronts that come through. Because fire is such a rejuvenating force in meadows, the response from the native vegetation ultimately the flush of growth that comes out you know we're looking at it it's black and you see this char but the flush of growth that'll come following the burn rejuvenates the native vegetation and helps it either out compete or severely compete with the lespedeza We kind of have an option to start at Point Alpha or start at Point Charlie. The challenge was finding a window that was late enough to have cured fuels and dry fuels, but early enough that we could get it done before the constraints came from the scheduling here at the garden. So I think what's unique about the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden is, is we're effectively in a suburb of Pittsburgh. A lot of the places that we burn are very, very rural. And so you don't necessarily have to worry about smoke uh, or you don't have to worry about the public. But the leadership and vision here at the garden was this is a valuable land management tool. 
So in this unit we just did, there was a huge patch of Lespedeza in the middle and we got a really, really hot fire. And so the hope is that hot fire on the surface burned up the Lespedeza that was sitting uh, on the surface of the soil. A lot of people think fire is out at a Western thing somewhere else, but the reality is you can safely implement fire in places like the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden. It was really like a trust building exercise and in my career I talk a lot about building that trust because you're literally calling a regulatory body and saying we want to burn, we want to set fire to this landscape and I think people need to understand that it can be done and it needs to be done because it's such a valuable land management tool.